Jack, it's recording. See, I could sit like this. I uh, but then you'll have to sit right stuck to it. Yeah. And then it'll fall over. Catch it. <laughs> Bonjour. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and episode 6 I believe of Mum and I's Studio Ghibli or Ghibli review series. Um, Hello. So on this uh, week's episode mm -hmm. we are reviewing Ocean Waves uh, which was or is also known as I Can Hear the Sea. It was released in 1993. It is so its genre is commonly romance. Really? But it wasn't that funny. No it wasn't funny. But one of its other uh, genres is called Slice of Life. Which was interesting. Yeah. I'd never heard of that before. That certainly was a slice of life. Basically means... Slice of life describes the depiction of mundane experiences in art and entertainment in theatre. Slice of life refers to naturalism. A technique in which a seemingly arbitrary sequence of events in a character's life is presented, often lacking plot development, conflict and exposition, as well as often having an open ending. Ocean Waves, it was... Let me see. I'm lost here. On my notes. That's not the thing I read earlier. Don't worry about it, Mark. Yeah, because it wasn't that. Really it wasn't that great. We wouldn't be. So we'll not. We'll not. Things. We'll not bore you with all the details. Yeah. But it was the shortest one so far we've watched. Um. But it also had a real disadvantage because it didn't have. It wasn't dubbed in English. It was subtitled, so um, it was quite hard on the eyes, and it only was what seventy something, seventy two minutes. So Aye. It couldn't have been any longer. The subtitles. They're at the very bottom of the screen. So when you're looking there, you kind of can't see all the screen because that's where your eyes are focused. You have to sort of use the zoom in technique where you take in the big, take in all the screen and then zoom your eyes in. And a couple of times the subtitles ran very quickly. So basically this film is about three characters really. They're called uh, Taku Morizaki, Yutaku or Yutaku, Matsuno and Rikaku. Rikaku? That probably isn't how you pronounce it. Probably, yeah. But uh, so those three, they're in college or secondary school. And it's basically about their friendship and different things they do. That kind of love triangle. And that's pretty much all that happens. Yeah. I think it, it, show, it shows sort of the, the loyalties and disloyalties and the misinterpretations in teenage years as well. And their priorities. And um, also a bit about family relationships as well. Family separation. So, yeah, there was a good wee story in there somewhere. But wasn't, it wasn't the most very exciting. exciting or engaging one. Yeah. Um, but I think this one had the best music. Some of them, the music hasn't been used that much. I will it was sort of pretty orchestral. There was quite a lot of soundtrack in this, which I enjoyed, and it was quite good music. So uh, we'll jump on to our scores. Characters, I would probably give characters a five or maybe a six. Yeah. They weren't that interesting. I think I would give them a six because they depicted the sort of typical teenage love triangle pretty well. Story, I would probably give, I don't know, a, a five. <laughs> Maybe a three. Right in the middle. Um, right. Yeah, it just wasn't that engaging. No. These slice of life films can be done right. A very good one is Inside Llewyn Davis, starring Oscar Isaac. If you I haven't seen that, that, that is a very good film, which I think is would be described as slice of life. Uh, music, I'd probably give music a 9 out of 10, because I thought the music was really good. Yeah, I'd give it an 8. And it was used quite a lot. Some of them, the music, you can't really, you wouldn't really know there was music in them. So what would you give story? I don't know. Yeah, we'll and give characters it six. are six as well. Characters will give it time. And then what would you give the music? Music maybe give it an eight. And it goes right to the bottom of the list as number seven. Uh for me that's I've written the wrong place. Conflicted between this and Poco Rosso going to the bottom. Yeah, I think this will go to the bottom. You wouldn't want to watch it again. It's hard work watching it when it's all subtitled. Hopefully the next one doesn't have subtitles. If it does, we're not gonna watch it. <laughs> well I'll watch it, don't worry. <laughs> I'll review it by myself. Not that we're saying it's a bad film. It just wasn't, as the genre slice of life says, there wasn't much going on. And it sort of ended as well, didn't it? Just ended. Yeah. You're waiting for something dramatic to happen, but it sort of just sliced, it did slice. Next episode, well, the next film is called Pom Poku. Pom Poku? Mm hmm. So that has been a very whirlwind review of this very short film. And some feedback would be good on what you think if you do watch it. Yeah, if you have been watching the films, give us some Let comments us or yeah. your ranking. Or do so. a review and send it to you. We will see you in the next episode. Take and care and keep safe. Keep well. Bye.